Hello guys, this is what you hear. Today I'm gonna show you a luxurious retro car. The reason I call it retro car is because this this car needs a retro pass instead of luxury pass. And then the car I'm gonna t I'm gonna review is the Lexus LS 400. Yep, it's it's actually luxury, but I don't know why it's on the retro. Maybe one's cheaper. And because of this. It was the cheapest luxury car. Yeah, it looks good, very blocky. I don't mind the reverse lights. Yeah, the, the lights are length, they like a very premium look. And the turn signal is on the bottom. I, I think there is fog lamp in the light in the here. The fog light is on the on the inner one. The rims, yeah, it looks like a plastic. And there is sunroof. Overall, this car looks very good. So now let's go into the driving test. All right, so now we're onto the speed test. By the way, this car has a speed limiter, which is on 180 kilometer. So which means you need I, I deleted it. So. By the way, this car, everything is stock. The engine is stock, so I'm gonna do a acceleration and a top speed test. Yeah. By the way, I have TCS off for the good launch. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so uh, 266 is top speed, and by the way, sorry for the lag if it affected the, the test because my laptop it wasn't good. Uh, right now, so move on to the stage 3 test. Alright, so after I upgrade to stage 3, and then I'm the next thing I'm gonna do is the slalom test. I'm gonna go in 3, 2, 1. Go! Alright, so that's the acceleration test. It's kind of quick though. But overall, this the speed and acceleration was amazing. Alright, so move on to the slalom test. Alright, so we're doing slalom test. By the way, this car could do slalom very bad thanks to the double wishbone and the uh, and, uh, air suspension. Because this car is built for comfort. If I, if I have tried this, you will like it because this car is so fucking big. But still, the handling is still good for its price. Yeah, but the price is very cheap for this game. Overall, the handling is very good. Let's do. Let's go with the turning radius test. All right, so here goes with the turning radius. Yo, the turning radius was good. Yeah, the, the turning radius was so fucking good. Maybe it's because this is a luxury car. This car is worth the buy, but you need the retro pass to buy it. 
the handling was really good overall this car is really really worth it as long you have speed limiter delete because the the 180 limit on this car so if you want to reach 266 which is the top speed you need a speed limiter delete to delete the limit but still the is even though you don't have it it's still worth it the handling was so great and the brake is so good and don't forget to like and subscribe click the bell and comment down below about what you think about this car thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video goodbye